So in few weeks or rather in few days your exam is going to get conducted. Actually I wanted to upload this video after the exam but then I realized that this would be a better time to upload this video and you would also agree when you see the video. So you see your exam is very near and in your exam some of you are going to crack it, some of you are not going to crack it. Now the question is why some of you will not be able to crack the exam. The answer is also very simple because you could not score more. You see, you need to study to score more. The more you study, the more you are going to score. So the main question is why you did not study. Now this can happen in three scenarios. Scenario one, where you did not have time. Maybe because you were busy in the clinic or maybe because you were busy with your duties or some other thing. Scenario two, where you had time but you lacked motivation. Scenario 3 where you had time, you had motivation but you just couldn't remember anything you studied. So in this video, I am going to be talking about scenario 2. How to study when you don't feel like studying and by the end of the video, I can absolutely guarantee that you will be able to study whenever you want as much as you want and we are starting right now. Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Tara Khan. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I share with you clinic and exam related productivity tips and strategies. If this is your first time here, start now by subscribing and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss anything. Now there is a correlation between motivation and action that you need to understand. You see, traditionally we believe that you have to, motivation comes first. Traditionally we believe that you have to be motivated enough to act. Your motivation will lead to your action. However, this is only partially true because the reverse of this is also true where your action comes first, where you act first and this leads to finishing your work and when you finish your work, you get the desired result and this gives you the dopamine to act again. Now, if you have understood this concept, here is a four step method to solve your problem. How to study when you don't feel like studying. So step number one, you see, we don't study when we don't have a clear cut plan. We don't have a clear cut idea on what are we going to study? When are we going to study? How we are going to study? How long we are going to study? So in step one, you are going to be solving this problem and a typical plan of yours should sound like I'm going to solve 300 MCQs of organ and of medicine from Jana and Rath book in about three and a half hours at around 2 p.m. after my lunch. So you see, this plan of yours now has everything. What you are going to study, when are you going to study, how long are you going to study, how much you are going to study and when you are going to stop. And what you have done, you have also attached your plan with an old habit of yours, with a daily habit of yours. And this is called habit stacking, where you attach a new habit, a new task with an old habit where you attach a new habit with an already existing habit and this will prepare your mind for the new habit because every day in your daily routine you will be having lunch and this will prepare your mind after having lunch i will have to start studying organ of medicine so that was step one by the way if you don't have general book and you want a copy of that then contact the person mentioned in the description of the video Step two is start studying. Now, this is easier said than done, but you just tell your mind and here I want you to follow this five minutes rule where you just tell your mind that, okay, fine, I'll study only for five minutes and then I'll see what can be done further. What this does is when you start studying and when you continue studying for five minutes, this gets you into the loop. You solve 10 MCQs, then you solve 50 MCQs, then 70 MCQs, 100 MCQs, 200 MCQs, finally 300 MCQs. So you get into the loop one after other. You see in our school life, probably in your uh, class 9 or 10, you all must have studied static friction is greater than kinetic friction. So once you have solved this static friction of starting the study, solving the kinetic friction or continuing this study will be a lot easier. Step three is continue studying for three and a half hours, which you have already planned. And for this, you can follow the Pomodoro technique, the ultradian rhythm or the focus sprint. I have talked about all these techniques in my previous video. You can check that video. The link of the video will be in the description. So you continue studying, keeping in mind a reward that you will be getting at the end of your task, at the end of step three. And it can be anything. It can be mindless scrolling of social media for a few minutes 
or playing a game on PUBG or talking to a friend, talking to your boyfriend, talking to your girlfriend. It can be anything. But remember, the reward only comes after the achievement, after you have fulfilled your task, after step three. So step one is habit stacking, where you are planning to study. Step two is where you are breaking the static friction. Step three is where you are breaking the kinetic friction. And step four is the reward. Now you may think that this is the most stupid step out of all the steps that we have discussed. But trust me, this is the most important step. Because these are the things, these rewards are going to give you the dopamine to again go back to step one. Step four is the step which closes your motivation loop. So you plan your work, you start your work, you continue your work, you finish your work and then you get a reward. And then you can again start it from step one because this has given you a dopamine. This has given you a motivation. Your action has given you a motivation to study. So you are done with 300 MCQs of Organon. Next, after a break, you again go for another sprint of 300 MCQs for another subject. Again for 300 MCQs for another subject. So this is the way that you are going to study. So these are the steps. If you follow, it will make you a beast. But remember, at the end of the day, you are the one who has to push yourself to study. Because if not you, then who? You are not a kid anymore. You are not in your school. You are all adult doctors. You are appearing in competitive exams, in postgraduate exams. So follow these steps for a week and let me know how much that changed your routine. Also let me know if you want me to make a video on anything else. Let me know how you like the video. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Share it with your friends and I'll see you in the next video.